Hey again everyone, I apologize about it being such a long time to get a video up. Um, I've been backed up in repairs, had a lot of repairs to do, um, so apologize about it taking so long. Um, I've got a little video to do today to show you a common issue that happens um, uh, not only when replacing your GPU, but also just when you have someone working on their your own, if you're working on your own board and uh, all of a sudden you have an issue uh, with the fan spinning on high or um, your CPU is just going incredibly slow, your machine's choppy, um, it's laggy. Um, this could be the problem. It's a possibility. A possibility. Um, the issue is um, a lot of times, uh, and I'll show you real quick. I'll, I have ASD already pulled up on this computer that's having this just issue. Let me see if I can get you a good view here. I know it's going to be sideways. Maybe I can turn it a little bit for you. You're going to have to turn your head a little bit just to understand this probably. Uh, but uh, what I have here is I have sensor. Uh, the, the sensor is selected, the test to run the sensors. And um, I'm just going to click on start testing. It's going to run through this and you'll see that it says failed. And it's this uh, right fin stack proximity sensor. And um, if you have ASD, uh, which you can find some sources online, I'm not going to tell you where, but you can find find this test. This is a, a very useful test uh, for the older Macs, anywhere up to um, 2014. Uh, 2015 and newer, uh, they no longer make an ASD available for, for us. Um, it, it all connects to the, the Apple servers and you have to have uh, an Apple certification to be able to access this. And of course there's issues with that. That's a whole different story. Um, anyways, uh, this uh, right fin stack uh, is the issue with this machine and um, this issue like I mentioned is uh, common um, I've seen it on some uh, people who have sent their boards in just because they've worked on their own machine and all of a sudden they're having this issue um, with the fans being on high and the CPU is going really slow but also we have issue here sometimes where we replace the GPU and the mounts that hold the board in the machine uh, accidentally bump the sensor and cause the sensor to go either crooked or break it. Um, and so I'm going to show you on the schematics real quick uh, where the sensor uh, is at in the schematics and then we'll look at the board view and uh, we'll replace it and show you how easy of a repair it really is and we'll get this machine back up and running again. So we'll jump over here to the schematics real quick and can you see that? Yeah, you can see it. Okay, so what I did um, is I just um, at the uh, I just did a PDF search for a temperature sensor and it brought me to this page here and you'll see here this is the GPU proximity GPU die left heat pipe and right fin stack and so since we're just getting one of these we're not getting all of these errors which has happened before um, if you're getting all of these issues or all of these things to fail in the uh, sensor test in your ASD um, you're not going to have just a one sensor issue. You're going to have probably this um, this chip right here, the U5550, uh, uh, which is what reads all of these sensors. And so if you're getting all of these issues to show up in the, the ASD test, then you have an issue with just this, this chip right here, the uh, U5550. However, I'm just having the right fin stack that's showing up as uh, not reading correctly. Uh, so you'll see right here, detect right fin stack temp uh, temperature, uh, the Q5501. Now this is just a single temperature sensor and this is the issue that we have in this machine. And so we'll, we'll go over here over to the, the board view software. Let's see, let me zoom in. What's going on here? Let's see if I can get this enlarged for you. There we go. All right, so um, we're gonna do a board search for the uh, Q5501. You'll see it highlights this chip right here, this little sensor, the three prong, prong sensor, and this is our issue. Um, so we're gonna take a take the board out, we're gonna look at that area, and we'll just replace that, sim uh, that sensor, and we should be set to go. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that now, get the board out, and uh, 
I'll see you when I get it over here to the microscope and we'll we'll take a look at it on the microscope all right so we have the board over here in the microscope now I got you a view so you can see the board view and the board and so you can see there um, on the board view software that that three pronged uh, sensor is highlighted uh, and then down below here you can see uh, the three pronged sensor uh, so let's take a closer look at this under the microscope let's get a closer view and you can see um, the sensor there and now let's just move it around a little bit it's probably loose yeah you see how this this side right here looks like this prong is no longer attached in fact that whole pad is just loose so let's go ahead and heat this up remove it with the hot air Alright, so now right away you can see the issue. We have this trace right here has been broken. And this probably happened because of our VGA replacement, uh, the mount being too close to this sensor. So we're going to, what we're going to do is replace the sensor, and then, as you can see, it's just a wire that we need to run from this prong to this prong uh, to get that set up. And uh, Let me show you on the board view real quick. Um, you can see that uh, pin number three directly connects to this. It's the same trace. The GPU thermal sense D underscore D underscore N. And it's the same thing. So these two prongs connect. So what we're going to do is we're going to go back to the uh, microscope and I'm going to remove this from a uh, test, or not a test, um, a donor board. And then I'll get, move it over here. And then we'll just run a wire to connect those two pads. Okay, here I have a new one. Let's go ahead and put some uh, new solder on those pads. A little bit of flux. Just a little bit too much. And I have a micro tip on too, which makes it a little bit difficult. Okay. Now we can move over the new temperature sensor. Alright, we're just going to add a little bit of solder to this pad here. And then I'm just going to run a wire. Let's see, do I have that yeah, here? I got some wire. First, I'll attach it over here on this side. little bit more solder on it. Okay. And then I'm just going to run the wire right around. And attach it on this side. that. Make sure it's attached over here still. It's such a short wire so it's going to of course heat up the entire wire and melt both sides. Alright, 
grab it with some tweezers. Attached. And then we can just break it off like that. And then clean it up. Alright, so you see how that's done right there, and now we're going to get it back into um, get it back into the machine, and we'll run the ASD test again and see if we have a right fin stack failure. Um, so I'll meet you back when I got it back in the machine and I have ASD boot up, and we'll give it a test. Alright, so I have the machine all back together, and I have ASD booted up, and now let me zoom in for you, so I'm going to run this sensor test again. Do you yeah, you can see that okay. All right, I'm gonna start testing, and it passed. So it passed the, the right fin stack proximity sensor has now been fixed. So that's the issue with that. Um, like I mentioned, uh, the issue that this causes is that your, your fans will boot on high and your CPU uh, will be running very slow. Your computer will be lagging. So you'll see the mouse, the cursor jump around instead of in a smooth um, motion it will just jump around the screen as you're you're moving it um, and so this isn't the only sensor that causes that issue really any of your temperature sensors if they're messed up if they're not uh, working correctly or if you have any um, uh, any uh, resistors that go in between that and uh, in, in, like around the temperature sensors um, you can get false readings. It can read it as either running too high or not reading at all. And so uh, it's going to cause your machine's, uh, machine to not be running correctly. It's going to be very laggy and your, your fans will be most likely spinning on high. Um, when you have these issues, you need to check your temperature sensors. Um, and you can do that easily with the uh, ASD program. Like I mentioned, that's all the way up to 2014, uh, 2015 and later is going to require you to have an Apple certification to be able to test that. So anyways, I uh, hope this was helpful to you. Um, if you have any questions or anything else, make sure and leave a comment and we'll get back with you as quickly as we can. Um, and I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, we hope to be putting up more videos more frequently. I know I've said that before, but um, as long as I'm able to keep up with customer stuff and keep things uh, going with that, um, I'll make sure and try to do a video for you at least once a week, hopefully two times a week, and then we can progress from there. Uh, but anyways, like I mentioned, I hope you enjoyed this, hope you learned something, and uh, hope you have a great day. We'll talk to you next time.